Alright, are we live? We are live. So, hello everybody. We're back. It's been a little while. And, uh, all I did was resize the window and this happened. <laughs> yeah, so not only is the view starting, I have to find a different fucking room because my brother decided to be a little bitch and take it. <laughs> so be right back. Yep. Ah, uh, fun. I've only ever seen one other mod do this sort of thing. I think that was all uh, that mod transfer that we played a few months back. Where... Altering the window size drastically changed the mod. Like, uh, how it looked on screen. In the menu, but yeah. Hey, Underskins. Uh, all I did was resize the window and, uh... The UI freaked out. <laughs> How you doing? I'm, I'm still here. I'm... <laughs> yep. It's all right. Okay, you, I'm back. You, yeah, you take care of what you gotta do. I'm gonna be sending out links like usual. All right. I'm not here. Yeah, I seriously so didn't realize though that it had been a month since uh, we last played Blue Skies. I didn't think it had been that long. It sure doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I know. It's crazy how long it's been. I love these, these glitches. Lesson learned. Don't resize the window. Yep. I am contemplated on either getting my computer or playing some Minecraft. You do whatever <laughs> sounds more fun to you, uh... <laughs> Underskins. Mm. You do you. But yeah, I've been looking forward to today because it's been a long time since we last played Blue Skies, and man, we really need to do this more often. Indeed. Because, um,. This is episode four, and I don't even think we're out of Act One yet. I'm pretty and... sure we're in Act Two. Oh wait, yeah, I think at the end of uh, the third stream we got to Act Two. I think you're right. But yeah, like we're four streams in, and we're only in Act Two. And I've been told there's three acts. Bradley, what's up? How you doing? Glad you could make it. Yeah, that's what I was hearing from you guys last night, that we're close to the whole, like, Halloween thing. You're barely in Act 2, as I can see the blue text box. Also, Bradley, what do you think of the um, UI glitch that happened? All I did was resize the window, and uh, the UI just completely glitched out. I've only seen something like this happen with one other mod. That was that uh, transfer mod we played a while back. Before I even started streaming. Yep. I also noticed the music is different now that, um, like it knows we're on Syria route and it's Act 2. It's one of those little differences, but I love it. Still looks better than Exit Music Redux Look all UI. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I have not played Exit Music Redux.
I think the full version of that's still being worked on, but... <laughs> yep, uh, what there is out for it, I have not played. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why they decided on that for um, Exit Music, yeah. Maybe one of these days I'll have to play through um, Exit Music Redux. Because, yeah, just... That's crazy. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay. There you are. I was talking for like 10 minutes. <laughs> But yeah, Exit Music Redux. Basically, they just peeped gray on the back on the background. <laughs> yeah, that's what Bradley was just telling me. <laughs> Sad pod must be dark oh, colors. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, it's so overhyped, and I'm afraid it's gonna be one of those things where it's gonna be like really exciting and overhyped. But when the whole action thing comes to that, it's gonna disappoint everyone. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I certainly doubt knowing it's Wretched Team, but you never know. With how fucking stupid the with fucking stupid the, the yep. community is nowadays. Yeah, I'm not getting overhyped for it. And their like expectations are, like through the roof nowadays. This mod doesn't have fifty thousand pieces of great artwork. It's dog shit. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, I think you know some people just set their expectations too high. Yep. And it's like, dude. If this is what you're expecting from every mod, just you have completely unrealistic expectations. Yes. So it's like, dude, just settle down. Exactly. Yeah, that's why for most mods, I barely go in with um any expectations at all, because it's just, I'm seeing it... Um, for the sake of my own curiosity, just not um, because I'm expecting, you know, this, 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 and this. Mm hmm. I'm more interested in their after Sayori and after school demos than the fucking whole exit music redux. I would have to look into those mods. I don't um, know what the deal is with those. After Sayori. Hmm. So see how that goes. Yep. Um, if you know anything about that, uh, fill me in, Bradley. And hey, Don, how's it going? Welcome. There are both demos that are like two years old. Apparently, chapter one of After Sayori is reaching, um, is releasing 30th of September. Interesting. We'll see what happens. I, ju I just, I just think Rich Team is overhyped, so I think, personally. Oh, like you just finished yesterday's stream for Lost Ascension? Perfect timing, then. That's sweet. I love when things work out like that. It's so, it's so nice. 
Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, hang on. Here's, here's, here's a picture. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. If you want to know what the UI for, for, like, for X Music Redux looks like, just oh, look this yeah. Just look oh, this yeah, if you got that, uh, send it to me. You can see why people hate it. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it up I'll put it up on stream. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, vomit. Oh my <laughs> I I would say that's an accurate description of this color scheme. Like here, let me switch one of my window captures here. But to be fair, I like, do know what, why they what, what like the that. What the fuck is this? <laughs> but to be fair, Ann, <laughs> Ann, you can make fun of Ann, listen, you, you can make fun of but I can see why they made it like that. It's yeah. because, um, i this to you. Don't forget, it has Radiohead music, so it's gonna be based off Radiohead. <laughs> and so that UI is based off this album cover. Yep. That's why it's so weird. And yep, I can gross. see that um, as kind of a tribute, of but um, I don't know what I don't know why they decided to go you know that heavily in that direction for this. But, appar but apparently, but apparently, there's multiple fucking UIs. Yeah, so apparently that's what um, the um, this here is inspired by. This here. But just, <laughs> it doesn't come across that way to me. It just, <laughs> does not come across that way to me. Nice acrylic painting. <clears throat> this is facts. All right. I think I'm ready. Let's get back into this. And I apologize if I sound lost, because it has been a literal month since we have played Blue Skies. And I did not have any time to watch previous episodes to get caught up on where we are. All I know is that apparently we're getting close to the Halloween stuff. Yes. See if history reveals anything. Right. Yeah, I think we were doing like our Halloween uh, prep stuff for that Halloween party. That's what I'm seeing. They're carving pumpkins? Alright. And that UI is still glitched. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Um. Okay, okay, we're good. There we go. It's fixed. I fixed it. I just scrolled the window a tiny bit, and there we go. It's fixed. Okay. Um. There are carving pumpkins. I guess that's all I need to know. Be back in a split second. Dinner just got done. Oh, all right. Like yeah, I just ate. I just ate, like so I'll be good for a while. Of course, they had to make dinner just when I was about to stream. <laughs> yep, always. Uh, I love how it works. I'm very back. All right. Uh, that was perhaps the most satisfying night's sleep I've had in a while. What time is it? Wow, it's half. To, it's half ten. Um, half past ten or um. Uh, Half uh, two ten. For me, that's super early. That's about normal for me. This is the second Saturday in a row that I've woken up before noon. Am I slowly shedding my vampiric traits? <laughs> As I draw the curtains and feel the sunshine flowing through the glass, I can't help but feel really content. In fact, ever since joining the Literature Club, even in spite of the festival, my mood's generally been so much better than usual. 
Yeah, because, I mean, if you can overlook uh, what happened at the festival, then, um... I'd say the club's been pretty good to you. Yep. Don't worry, I'll keep that in mind, Bradley. Perhaps it's due to what I told the girls before we started our recitals. It's just nice to have people my own age to hang out with. But what if... What if it's something more than that? Sayori. Even thinking about her brings that warm feeling back. Although, not as strongly. Could it be? Am I really starting to like her in that way? As if to interrupt my brain, my stomach grumbles. <sighs> I guess I'll give this a muse over breakfast. Hmm. What do I feel like having today? Cereal, toast, fried eggs, sausage, bacon. What will he choose? What will he choose? So many choices. Which one will it be? I'm gonna bet he goes the lazy route. Cause that's what I would do. Okay, never mind. I think eggs, sausage, and bacon will do for now. You go, man. Ah, much better. Oh, you're having sausage and chips right now? Nice. I can see why Suri mentioned breakfast in her, in her first poem. There I go again, always thinking about her. <laughs> yep, on the mind. If I were to be honest, as much as I enjoy all the girls' as company, I'd be lying if I said I'd be as excited if I were to spend today with any other girl. Maybe it's because of the history we share? Or because Natsuki is a little too cold for my tastes, and Yuri's a little too... quiet? I don't know. Since day one, I've always been comfortable talking to Sayori. Nice. Homemade is... Anything homemade is the best. And that's never changed. I swear, I read somewhere that if you can go years without talking to a friend, then when you finally do reconnect, if we're able to get along like nothing ever happened, then it's the sign of true friendship. <laughs> or I'm just looking into this too much. <laughs> Spoopy time feelings and there was me thinking about and there was me thinking that the stuff we do in math is hard to get your head around one thing that never changes is Sayori's inability to get up on time they must have had plans today well well Bradley if Walmart can get away with it then so can I that's how I look at it I mean, hell, the store I work at is already getting our um, Halloween stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if retail can get away with it, then I can too. I don't care. Five minutes pass and I grow impatient. Fishing out my phone, I shoot her a text. It's noon, you lazy girl. We've got pumpkins to carve, remember? Advent calendars in October. <laughs> yeah, that's like the places that uh, put out their Christmas stuff as soon as um, Halloween is over, if not before. I do love the, um, you know, texting UI for this mod. Most mods don't bother with something like that, so it's a nice touch. A few minutes ticked by without a response. Sayori! At this rate, I probably have more of a two-way conversation with a mime. Man, how creepy must I look? Just aimless, aimlessly standing outside her house. <sighs> really gonna have to work on her sleeping patterns. I always knew she could be a little lazy, but this is getting annoying. Yeah, 
Yeah, just a little bit. Sayori, it's me. Sorry, I didn't want to wait outside. Are you, uh, dressed? If I strain my ears, I can faintly pick up the sound of her voice. She's not replying to me, though. It sounds like she's talking to herself. I can't quite pick up what she's saying from this distance. Probably sleep talking. And knowing her, sleep talking about food. I'm nearing the end of my patience. Okay, that was your last chance. If you're getting changed or anything, you can't be mad at me. Man, her room is a mess. And Siri is tucked away in the mess of pillows, blankets, and the <laughs> duvet that forms her bed. There's a swath of hair that's fallen into her mouth. She's drooling slightly. She's curled up into a ball with her arms hugging herself. It's a strangely adorable sight, and I feel bad at having to wake her. As I draw closer, I can finally make out what she's saying. And to my dismay, it's nothing wholesome at all. I'm sure I'm about to find out here. It sounds more like she's softly whimpering to herself. I can almost spot glistening wet tears tra trails down her cheeks. Seeing Siri cry is a sight I wish I'd never have to see. Can't help it. What's she talking about? Sorry, I'm so useless, but really trying for everyone. She flips over restlessly, a sob accompanying the movement. But it's so hard, so tiring, don't want, don't want to do any more no please someone anyone i know selfish sayori her head turns slightly almost as if she's heard me her eyes remain shut so it's impossible to tell if she's awake sayori it's me ben it's okay i'm here mm, no i don't want to go didn't work last time they said it would work fresh sobs fill the room as she cries harder her voice breaks completely as tears drip down her face at this point i've had enough a strong protective instinct within me demands that i reach out and gently clasp one of her hands with mine with her hand in mine, I gingerly shake her awake. <laughs> it sure felt that way with how long it was between episodes, I bet, though. Sayori! Ben! And with that final mysterious utterance, her eyes fluttered open, with panic momentarily flashing through them. When she sees me, she visibly relaxes and sits up. Oh, hi, Ben. She hastily turns away and tries to discreetly wipe her face. I'm still trying to process what I've just witnessed. Yeah. <clears throat> quite, quite disturbing, I must say. what exactly she was seeing. Can't imagine it was anything good. Sayori, are you okay? I I think you were having a nightmare. Oh, was I? I don't remember anything like that. 
I was literally right here, listening to you cry. Of course you had a nightmare. You said some really concerning stuff. She anxiously bites her lip as she replies. Fuck. Hey, welcome back. Uh, what's up? I ate dinner. I'm sorry I have to be interrupted. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. These things happen. Yeah, you haven't missed too much. Um, we just um walked in on Siri sleeping while presumably okay. having a nightmare or something. Okay, okay phone. Okay. I, <laughs> okay. I'm sure you remember the scene. Okay. Uh, fucking life always getting in the way. <laughs> Thank you, phone. Thank you. Someone's calling from LA. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. It's crazy because, because somebody you don't even know. See, that is the worst. In, see, because I'm in my uh, grandma's room because it's silent and there's no one here. And yep. I was slaying down, and since the bed is like, r since the phone's like right next to my ear, it's just blaring. Yeah. <laughs> we can all hear it. Yes. And hey, and hey, cat, uh, welcome to the stream. You haven't missed too much. We're just kind of just getting started. I don't voice too many characters, do I? Yep. I we just, kind of uh. A while. Yep, we just, uh, went to wake Sari up, and she was having a nightmare of some sort. Nice. Yeah. I mean, nice. Yeah, nice, sure. Nice. <laughs> nice. <sighs> And yeah, I am having a good day so far today. To answer your question. Bradley says, can't be as bad as my mom's work. She is a care worker and she'll get a phone call, then get two more immediately after with the most annoying shit. I didn't mean to make you worried. You seriously need to stop thinking that you're a burden. It's my job to be concerned about you. We're best friends. Okay, I, I, I don't think I, I said on stream, but me and um, I was on an update for Beat Saber with um, with Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Skrillex. Sk Skrillex. <laughs> yeah, he was just telling me before stream um that a Skrillex pack just came out for uh, Beat Saber. I'm scared. And as soon as I'm I heard scrunching. that, because like. <laughs> you know Skrillex is kind of music, and then just trying to picture that in Beat Saber, like, oh god. Scares me. <laughs> I, I bet it does. I swear to god, the parents can be fucked as usual. I'll have, to, I'll, I'll have to buy it later. Yep, um... If you, uh, if you play, if you play that later, uh, stream it to me, I'll watch. Alright. Now Dang download two music on. for Pete Saber. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Doom, yeah. Yeah. Don's just the now Doom. download two music. The Doom soundtrack. Oh <laughs> Lord! Oh man! And hey, KB, welcome to stream. How you doing today? This also just scares me. But then again, I'm still I'm still saving up for Battlefield 2042, so. Yep, yeah, I might get that because when I saw the trailer and heard what they're doing with that, it sounded really interesting. It looks cool, that's for sure. Yeah. Glad to hear you're doing alright, KB. Also, if you wanna <clears throat> if you want, you can take over uh Sayori since we're doing Sayori route. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Just okay, so you're not like completely it. useless. Okay. You're Really, s fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're really silly sometimes. You know that. Um, what do I mean by uh, blind playthrough? It means I've never played this mod before, and I haven't seen anything um on it. I haven't seen anything on it, so I'm going in completely <laughs> blind. That's this, what it means yeah, by this that. This isn't like Markiplier FNAF 4, how he has like a blindfold <laughs> over him. Yep. And you just if... can't see anything, you have to guess from the noise. God, imagine playing a visual novel blindfolded. It's, it's really useless. Yeah, like, you literally wouldn't know what's going on. Yeah. 
Um, unless, unless you Division already Marvel played it and had ex and you knew exactly what was coming. Yeah, uh, unless unless the visual novel has voice lines, which some visual novels do. Yep, some mods I've played have voice work. Alright, keep going. Yep. What's going on, Sayori? Please, just talk to me. She looks ash she looks ashamed as she gets herself out of bed. Oh god, I just realized! I totally forgot what we have planned for today. And I overslept. Uh, ben, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Bradley says, Are you my grandma, Doris, disabled? Because you that voice sounded like Doris from the nursing home. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> so Lovely. you're saying that Siri voice sounds like your grandmother from Bradley? <laughs> she flails around. <laughs> she flails around, and on instinct, I reach um, out and pull her into a hug. Clearly, this takes her by surprise as she doesn't make an effort to return it, at least initially. But after a while, she eventually starts to weakly hug back. I remember back in 1912 when the Titanic first set seas. <laughs> <laughs> I met a young man named Jack. <laughs> not, oh yeah, I'm waiting for Sinking Love, the Titanic mod. Yep, I've talked wanna, about that a few times on stream. I'm really out. excited for whenever a demo or that mod just releases. Sounds like an interesting idea. Yeah, like... Yo, does that mean we get to paint Monica naked? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think about that! Oh Team my god! Make it happen. <laughs> uh. Also, Underskid says, give her the Sakurai voice. Sakurai voice? Um, Sakurai, Sakurai. <laughs> oh, Sakurai. Do you mean fucking, um, Sakurai voice? Shit, do you mean the, the teacher? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's the teacher. And, and I thought I was going to have, like, that crackhead dad Suki voice. <laughs> God damn it, kid. Get off my lawn. I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've been smoking since 1985. <laughs> Damn, that's a while. Mm. Underskin <laughs> said, yep, the teacher. You always know how to make me feel better. In what way, sweetheart? <laughs> anyway, we have a lot to do today, right? Let's get started then. <laughs> oh no, we do not need Sayori with black lungs. <laughs> he will get demonetized. He oh, will get God. oh he oh no, that said demonized. I was about to make uh can't get demonetized if I ain't monetized joke, but um <laughs> <laughs> You know M you know MC <laughs> <laughs> Please don't die. <laughs> oh, God, don't kill your throat like that. I started doing these things called jewels. Oh, boy. They're really cool. It's like a USB stick, and it has smoke and stuff. Uh -huh. It's really neat. Natsuki got the black lungs. <laughs> Oof. Oh, God, the Natsuki voice. Is she really going to try and ignore the elephant in the room? Which elephant? Siri, you don't want to... No. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just find that funny. Just no. <laughs> Sorry. I just... <laughs> I really don't want to talk about it, if that's okay. Siri's just sounded like half... <laughs> Grandma half receptionist put together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This these are our voice. These are okay. these are our voice choices. 
<laughs> I just do whatever I think sounds the most fitting in my head. I don't have a clear um, voice that I'm going for. So yeah. What do you want to sound like, fucking Donald Duck? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, I can totally see Sayori doing that kind of um, impression. And hey, Sonic Gamer, welcome to stream. How you doing today? Give yeah. some fucking cookies. That's a horrible voice. The worst ever impression I've ever made from Donald oh. Duck ever. I'm better off speaking to my hand. Yep. <laughs> you know, Disabled has a high budget voice acting where he pulls out the granny and meth head voices. <laughs> you already know what's up. Yep, I fucking love that one. God damn it, Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> I told you no more manga. Never gets old. Never fucking gets old. <laughs> Also, I swear you sounded like the Smurf on Helium Cats. <laughs> <laughs> but Ben, I mean Ben. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Please. Underskin says, "Give her the goofy voice, voice for one line." <laughs> Goofy voice? Um... G gorsh! <laughs> it's nothing, everyone has nightmares. <laughs> I feel like Matt's voice would be great for, uh, Goofy. <laughs> or, um, whoever. Oh, floor. <laughs> floor Matt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause I think he, I think he's the one that had that really great um, MC voice that one time, right? I can't remember. Probably. <laughs> I think that was Matt. Right? I think. Um... <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't get to see Nazi's dad in this mind being. I can't give that voice to anyone but the teacher. But Damn we're, it. We're, we're, if we play Fruits of the Rich Club, I am giving him that voice. <laughs> Chat wants. Chat wants me to play that mod eventually. I mean, we could do two series at once. Yep. I think you're done with, I think you're done with the other one you just did. I think. Yeah, chat, chat keeps asking me to play Fru Fruits of the Literature Club, too. Actually, I do have internet back in my house. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it like during the daytime. Because yep, um... it's like school and shit. Nighttime is really an option, except for the weekends. Mm-hmm. Anyway, can you just give me a moment to get dressed? <laughs> Thank you for checking spooky. <laughs> Spoopy time, ladies and gentlemen. With a sigh of resignation, I leave and close the door behind me. We can get some pumpkins from the supermarket. You've got a knife at home, right? No. No, I do not have a knife <laughs> at home. <laughs> I live without knives. Yeah. So, what kind of things should we carve into them? Bats, skulls, all those cheesy Halloween things, right? <laughs> it's tempting to not answer. How about we carve a rope in a very specific shape? Oh, that's right. Um, Bradley had a very specific request for uh, Fruits of the Literature Club. What's he want he wants me to play Fruits of the Literature Club Natsuki route and name my character Bruce. Oh god. And try oh, to take it man. as seriously as possible. Yes. Please. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would love to. I think in next stream we could play Fruits of the Literature Club. Yep, um after this, um I wouldn't mind uh starting that. Probably after um, yeah. I finish Lost Ascension, because that'll yeah, probably be so another stream or two. Yeah, I'll then start another long mod. Yeah. To give Siri a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> Which medicine? Ritalin. I don't think she's aware of just how frustrating this is. Advil. But then again. Nyquil. Do I really want to ruin the day? Yes. Do I really do I really want this to ruin the day? 
Yes, we're in the Sarah's day. clearly Let's trying to put it past us. Piss you, Do it. <laughs> Please. As much as I want to know what's going on, she's not really in any mood to divulge. And bringing it up now would probably ruin the mood and day for both of us. I feel like Sarah needs chloroform with these voices. <laughs> but I can't really stay angry at her. Her general bubbly persona is so infectious. Only someone without a heart could be immune to it. <clears throat> I begrudgingly smile. Or spiders. I forgot how much you were terrified of them. Oh, uh, come on. Like, you're any better. I am. <laughs> okay, eat with the big ones. Even though Halloween isn't as largely celebrated here, at least compared to Western countries, shops still... Oh my god. Shops have still made a decorative effort. I remember when I tried to find this background, it took so fucking long. Oh, this one? I couldn't find it. I was like, every mod uses it. Where the fuck? Is it? I know, because I've seen this in quite a few different mods now. It's like, where? It's like, that's like an image that I think should be really common, but then when I try to search for it, it's just like, why the fuck can't I find it? This should be exactly. so easy. I thought this exactly. would be like, it's literally the first picture when you search, but no. I, I feel like I'm in some mental place. asylum, eavesdropping on some random guy who has gone cuckoo nuts in the head. Uh, which one of us? Uh, both. <laughs> Luckily for us, all of the pumpkins are right at the front. <laughs> you know who. <laughs> mm, can't put my finger on it. <laughs> The only thing I hate about Halloween um, at work is that um, when we have the pumpkins out, uh, some people will bring them in. Then, like, halfway through shopping, they decide they don't want it, so they just toss it on any random shelf. <clears throat> so I'll find pumpkins, like, next to the vinegar or, like, by the bags of flour. And it's like, who the fuck told you this was okay? Like it's just so I stupid. Hey, listen, shit. Now I have to put that back. Yeah. <laughs> now I have wow. to take my time because your stupid ass couldn't take care of it. I have to do that all the time at work. You slowly learn to hate people the more uh, you have to deal with stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Also, <laughs> they're decorating I, the I store really... for free, Ben. Be thankful. Gosh. <laughs> Gee, also, I didn't realize they were doing me a favor. Also, for uh, speaking of work, I officially have a uh, decent job. I'm I'm now instead of bringing up bottles of bags, I'm actually doing like the bottle redemption and stuff like that, and I'm stocking shelves when they wouldn't need it. Mm, nice. So I finally got that going for me. Yep, um, that's more or less what I've been doing for the last few years at the grocery store I work at. Most I'm Watch one of their. No, not produce. Um, I do stock and grocery. Oh. Uh. But yeah, glad it's uh, working out for you. Oop, I went over a Jeez. couple lines. These are huge. Yep, <laughs> it's the grind. Which means we have more space to make some awesome decorations. Don't you think? Her eyes meet mine, the cheerful enthusiasm still bouncing around in them. Yeah, good thinking. Let's get these three. Three. Ooh, do you mind if I grab some food for later? Yeah, sure. What were you thinking? Pizza. Not exactly the healthiest of choices, is it? Hey, I don't seem chopping the salad, you know? Oh my god, that reminds me of that meme I sent you, put it in chat. That fucking salad meme, where is it? Hang on. Yeah, let, let me know if you find it. Here, 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 here. Play. Show this, show this. On the stream, this. I DM'd you. 
this. <laughs> oh yeah. Sound. Yep, savage. If you replaced your bowl of cookies with a bowl of salad as a snack, you can lose up to 90% of what little joy you still have left in your life. This is true. Can <laughs> <laughs> confirm. Totally real advice, guys. Yes. Oof, but I prefer cake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see chomping on salad. Salad can be shit. Oh yes, I agree. Yes. Dude, I, I think I've maybe had salad food. once or twice in my life, and just I hate it. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have to, I'd have, I'd have to like force it. myself to eat it. I, I don't see the enjoyment in eating eating leaves personally, eating grass. Yeah, like that's not really my thing. I'm not I'm not really a cow per se. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that kind of thing. Uh, pretty random, but good to know, Don. Yeah, uh, my thoughts exactly, MC. I can't dispute that. He said, fun fact, for all the Sims 4 DLC, it costs $840. <laughs> Fucking EA. Of course. God, I hope EA doesn't do that with Battlefield 2042. Oh, God. The game looks so good. I'm gonna have to I'm like, pay $10 to use this gun. Pay a dollar to reload. Some God, I still remember that clip from one of their executives that got put online. Wait, whoa, wait, what clip? The, there's a clip of a uh, former EA executive saying pretty much exactly that. What you just said. Wait, what? Like in uh, some kind of meeting, I think. There's a clip of that online. Oh, God, where? I need to see this now. Here. Imagine, Let me see I, if I, I can, can find imagine, it on YouTube here. I can imagine him, like, talking to, to the guys, like, Hey, guys, how about this? How about we have him pay a dollar for every time they reload? Genius! Yep. Oh yeah, here's the clip here. Let me um <clears throat> let me mute the music here. <clears throat> oh no. You you got to see this to believe it. <laughs> is it give, is it give me on stream? Yep, I'm putting it on stream. Oh no. <laughs> yep, uh EA former EA CEO uh, John Riccatello on gaming microtransactions. Oh no. substantial portion of digital revenues or microtransactions when you are six hours into playing battlefield and you run out of ammo in your clip and we ask you for a dollar to reload you're really not very price sensitive at that point in time um <laughs> yep he actually said that he actually oh fucking said that. Oh you just God. heard that right. You were joking about that, but yeah, ten joking. years ago, <laughs> ten years thing. ago, they were talking about that in a stockholders meeting. <laughs> like, oh my God, if any game actually ever does that, I'm straight I'm up sorry. throwing the disc out the window and running yeah. it over with my car. Like, holy exactly. shit. It's so If that ever happens, like, because, oh my god. certain players, they spam the gun. They're going to have to pay like $1,000 just for one match. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> I had to show you that since you brought that up. 
That's just, that's just, that's just, that's just, that's just, those people like me were like every time like even if there's just one bullet down, I still have to reload because I want it to be perfect. Like, oh yeah, I'm like that. Ammo. I remember a, uh, I remember a sentience where like single player games are dying, and story means nothing to playing online, and battle pass bring in more money. Yeah. And look how single-player games have done in the years following that statement, like... Yeah, they could not have been more wrong. But in all seriousness, Siri, maybe you should try something that isn't just junk food. I worry about you sometimes, you know. I know, I know. You don't need to, though. I'll make more of an effort soon, I promise. All right, fine. I don't believe Pizza it. Pizza it is. Yep, I'm not buying it. But only if I get a slice. Um, hi, um, hi, welcome to chat, Goku. What happened to your Goku. hair? What? His name is Goku Bald. <laughs> what Goku. happened to your hair? <laughs> what happened to your hair, dude? Let's go, let's go with me around the box. Well, like, what's the backstory? Because she, because she lost her ability to smoke. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I don't know what the deal with that is. Or two. Oh, I believe this, Bradley. Have you ever heard of the post where EA execs said to actual customers to not buy Battlefield 5 if they didn't like the look of the game? Guess what happened? Oh my god, dude. Fifty percent of their that. sales disappeared. I remember that, dude. That was so controversial. Oh, I bet it was. That is a terrible hot take. Yeah. Like, if you don't like it, don't buy it. And they did exactly that. <laughs> yep, and customers were just like, okay, we can play that game. Exactly. Something tells me this is a no-deal situation, Sayori. In an attempt to display my masculine bravado, I volunteered to carry all three of the pumpkins. Rip MC's back. Holy shit. In hindsight, Yikes. given how much my arms are screaming at me, I immediately regret this decision. Oh yeah. As you rightfully should. Siori, help! Siori! <laughs> <laughs> yep, you have made a terrible mistake, MC. You should not Siori. have done that. Siori, this is too heavy. I can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't believe I can't believe you didn't let me carry any of them. Nah, don't worry, God. He's like struggling. <laughs> He's like popping yeah. <laughs> on his head. <laughs> Oh, so that's silly. terrible on the skins. That's terrible. <laughs> he said Dude, his arms and <laughs> he said his arms and back snapped as much as how Natsuki's neck was snapped. <laughs> Sorry for the controversial <laughs> comment. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's no sweat, Sayori. No sweat. At all. Don't drop them, don't drop them, don't drop them. <laughs> yep. What? That pumpkin is shaped like your head. <laughs> I swear to God, I will throw one of these at you. <laughs> <laughs> Not only for my own amusement, but because it will save my back. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Watch me! <laughs> Watch me. Besides, I don't think you'd be able to lift it high enough. <laughs> I hate how true that is. Uh, <laughs> just at that point, you just it's great. It. <laughs> yeah. See where one, then zero. <laughs> That's so unfair. You're taking advantage of the poor situation I'm in. Not true. Kind of. If I recall correctly, you're the one who insists on carrying these. She adopts a comedic, super low male voice. Uh oh. 
It's okay, Sayori. I'm a big, strong guy who can handle all the pumpkins. <laughs> I was okay, firstly, I do not sound like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> An innocent smirk is my only response, which turns into indignation as I blow a puff of air in her face. <laughs> it's the little victories in life. Finally, he gets to set them down. <laughs> yep. Just with a big... Puts them on the table and then just collapses. <laughs> yep. And then he just collapses into a chair. He's like, yep, that's enough exercise for the year. <laughs> So, Siri accidentally does an imitation of the demonic Sonic .exe voice. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what um, Siri trying to sound like MC sounded like. Just a little time. Would you agree? <laughs> hmm. Let's just keep it simple for now. Let's just go with a generic jack-o'-lantern face. I pull up a reference photo on my phone. No, his entire body breaks like glass. <laughs> yep. I, I was born with glass bones and paper skin. <laughs> you better by scooping out the insides, though. Yep. So let's cut a hole in the top. Can you say hole? <laughs> Okay, so bold Goku finally songs. responded. One day, I deceived everyone. I made a post on Reddit from DDLC, and I pretend to be from the game, saying the songs are bad, the characters are bad, etc. Everyone who saw this post took it seriously. Because, of course, they did. Oh, no. I bet. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds like the kind of post that would be fun to read. Yes, he I'll did, Don. He absolutely the played the system. Dude, the DLC community is mental nowadays. It really is. It's yeah. toxic. It's so mean. Yeah, that's why I try to look for the good people in it, you know? It's like, what? You don't like... You don't like Yuri? I'm gonna fucking stab you. Yeah, every time I look at the uh, new demos page uh, that I have... In the search, <clears throat> I I just look at how many um upvotes that um Seosuke mod demo we played a little while back has compared to some of the other mods that have new demos, yeah. and I'm like, why can't some of those upvotes be on some of these better mods? Yeah, because yes. uh, nothing against um Again, the uh, sweeter than help. sugar mod, but. That demo post, I don't it. think, um... Yep, I don't think that demo deserves 165 upvotes. Like, was, I'm sorry. I was going, I was going to help him. He said no. We even talked about it on stream. I have messaged him Yeah, on dude. We talked about it. Help. Yep, I think uh, you showed me that on stream. Yeah, I was like, hey, you know, I, I'm decent at writing. I, I can help you out. Oh, yeah, also, I had to do a whole writing thing for, um... Uh, class like 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 great writing where i tried to like with like sounds like like on the full moon or like this i think then i had to write like a whole thing i'm pretty sure i got top of the class in that writing so that's pretty cool man made which bot is, accounts to upvote himself which is just sad because is that uh, is that a is that a joke or is that actually what happened because i can see thing? either one being know. true It was kind of funny because that story I wrote for the class is depressing. And the teacher's like, yeah, A plus for you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> We're all sad. Noted. With a look of steadfast determination, she slices away the top of the pumpkin, exposing the contents within. She looks really cute with that look on her face. Yes, one of my favorite Boy, expressions. Boy, I mean, that dumbfound look. <laughs> she, just, she just looks like... She stumped herself. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's why I love it. 
because she just looks like she's concentrating so hard, but she doesn't realize how dopey she looks. Exactly. Oh, um, the, uh, Sweeter Than Sugar? I think that's in my, um... I think that's in one of my one-off episodes. One of my one-off, um, streams. <laughs> ben, why do I keep making these weird voices every five minutes? <laughs> because I'm not doing your voice this time. <laughs> and the best part is, she's so oblivious to how endearing she really is. Come on! Let me free your hands dirty. Okay, okay. Man, it feels so cold and sticky. Oh god. It's slow my but steady work. Went. My yep. mind just went straight from the gutter when I heard that. Oh uh, yeah. I, I can see that. <clears throat> I'm waiting for a particular head. MC line. You'll have to let me know when it hits then. I don't know. Yeah, honestly, um, Goku Ball, that kind of reminds me of, um, of one of my, um, blog posts on, um, Sonic Amino that got featured, like, a year or two ago, where, um, I think it was for some kind of speedrunning competition, where I had to use, um, Sonic to speedrun Stardust Speedway 1 on Sonic Mania, and I do not like, um, using, uh, Sonic for speedrunning in that game. So, mm. when, um, I finally got some, a run that was passable after four hours of grinding for it. I titled the blog just I period hate period Sonic. And people took that so... Like, people took that personally. Of course. <laughs> when that did. got featured. And That's I was getting I'm so many thing. comments that are just like, then why the fuck are you even here? And it's like, oh my god. Did you even read the blog to understand the context or do you just like being a blissfully unaware dipshit like holy shit I actually had to amend that post and clarify what the fuck I was talking about in the intro in the title like good mm. god that was so stupid yeah, I'm pretty sure I was at work when that happened stupid. too, so it's not like I had the luxury of time. Yeah, no, stupid. Ugh, fuck, that was so ridiculous. People on the internet just do not understand the joke. No, unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Because it's like I always try to have some kind of clever title for those uh, blogs that I make over there. Which, admittedly, I do a lot less frequently since I just don't have the time anymore. But yeah, just. It, it was so infuriating. That that one that in particular got featured was so infuriating. Mm. There. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do a speed run of being hated by the DDLZ community. <laughs> yes, make a video. <laughs> uh, oh, <great>. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. All right, listen up. Here's what you do. First, you have to say exit music is a horrible mod, and then just be patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Listen, speed running. Yep. Speed. It. Any yeah. percent listen. getting hated by DDLC community. Speed run. Let's let's listen. Go on Reddit and give a really stupid reason to why exit music is a really horrible mod. And just wait. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see the comments on that blog. Now my hands are all sticky. That's what, Hopkins. Yeah, mine too. There's a quicker way. There's a quicker way. Just write Moss Help. <laughs> 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 yep, I think people just get so pissed at that because it's like, take it to the Moss subreddit. We want nothing to do with you. <laughs> or, 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 be, be, be like me. When, it, when I go to a Moss video where a guy is like confessing his love to, to a digital. Monica, I would just be like, get a wife, gag her basement, and then just wait for the down votes in the comments. 
<laughs> now listen, now listen. I'm aware it's very mean, but I know it's mean. That's why I do it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, don't actually I would honestly stuff. just have fun with a comment like that. Yeah. You get like fucking brony or whatever it is. Or like a thirty-year-old is like watches <laughs> so much to my little pony, that kind of thing. Yeah, that kind it's of like thing. I don't. I don't think I've known people that do that, but yeah, just that would be weird. <laughs> you know, knowing someone who actually does that. I don't get those kind of people. Yeah, mine too. Say, do you want a new hairstyle? I grin and reach forward, aiming for Sayori's head. And, um... Sorry oh. I didn't say it a minute ago. Uh, welcome to welcome back, Zabalik. How you doing? Zabalik! Yep, he, yep he, he's the one who made the uh, boss help comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to see you, man. What? Don't you even think about it. Okay, okay. No, do it! Do I it. won't. I hold my hands up as a sign of peace. Suri remains backed up away from me. A suspicious look on her face. <clears throat> Sounds good, man. You're kind of... <sighs> <laughs> yeah, dude, did I show Sorry. you uh, the direction they're going with the new UI for uh, Drift Club? Oh, I did not. Yeah, because they're uh, changing not. up the UI for uh, Drift Club. Not oh. like the um, menu UI, but the um, in-game UI. Like here, I'll show oh. you one of the screenshots uh, that they've shared. Mm. Whatever, fine. I'll open it up in my browser and save it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with um, that mod eventually. We'll find out. Yep. Online. Only time will tell. <laughs> this hard game, a bit. I was just saying, it's confusing now. Because, oh my god, the people who work there are despised by everyone. Uh, where? disheartened my team fun fact it's I not a mod anymore, anymore i'm making it an independent uh, visual novel dude nice oh boy listen there's a lot of issues with that you're gonna have to know what you're doing because you're not using the same characters then you're gonna have to because if you're gonna have like siori not to be you and all that stuff it has to be tdlc mod it can't be its own independent mod or it's, or its own independent game i mean because those characters are copyrighted by uh, Team Salvato, I think at least. So I would imagine. I would imagine they to, are. So you're gonna have to create new characters with new personalities, which is gonna be a challenge. Yep, I think that's kind of what happened with um, another mod that we um, looked into. Um, because somebody brought it up on stream the other night. I, I forget the name of it. Maybe. Is it like a mod turning into a game? <laughs> yep, a mod that... Um, a mod that was what? in the works and then uh, transitioned and the creator decided they wanted to make it their own thing. Okay, yeah, that was it. Uh, one final chance. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with that because... You need to have yeah, a, they're uh, completely like ditching everything with DDLC for that for that mod. Not that mod anymore. That their game they're making. Because they're gonna have to create a whole new UI, their own code. It's a bit complicated. <clears throat> yep. I wish That's you the best I... of luck with it. Yeah. Because if you're gonna make your own game, you're gonna have to like know what you're doing. Yep, and I'm pretty sure that is the idea, I think, with Drift. Because he said a lot, um, it was 
kind of, you know, a way for him to experiment with graphics and stuff, so. True. So I think that was kind of the idea. Oh, I see the pictures. Yeah, on Zabelic oh, says, um, cool. as far as I understand Salvato's rules, it's okay to make a fan game instead of a mod, as long as you credit DDLC properly. Yeah, because I mean, there's oh, okay. that... Yeah, because I mean, there's that uh, Pokemon DDLC fan game that I played. And uh, that exists. And eventually I have yeah. um, another fan game called DDLC the RPG that I think is like a JRPG style game, like the early Final Fantasy games. I want to play oh. that eventually. Yeah, like, you know that, um... You know, like, I think... Uh, Woot Mies's most recent DDLC animation that was, like, RPG-themed? You know, people left comments like, I wish there actually was a DDLC RPG. Every time I saw comments like that, I'm just like, what if I told you there actually is one? All I really want is for it to be a... a DLC anime, but like, how would you think it'd be? Not like going uh -huh. with like the, uh, Old Fort Goldberg and stuff, but like a, uh, Sides of Life kind of thing, where it's just them hanging out doing stupid crap. Think of like a, Yeah, kind of like the side stories. Yeah, Stuff like that. Like that. I, I would totally be down for that if they wanted to make DDLC into an anime. Mm. Yep. Uh, welcome to the stream, uh, Cursed Emojis community. How you doing? As she lets her guard down and comes closer, I dart forward and boop her on the nose, leaving an orange smear. Hey! Meanie! <laughs> I'm gonna get you for that! Only if you can catch me! I laugh and dart away from her strike. <clears throat> it's all, motherfucker. Yes, come at me, bro. Syria has never been particularly coordinated, so it's pretty easy to dodge her clumsy attempts. I cannot wait to play fucking Fruits, cause God, I know that I'm gonna be voicing Nazi's dad. Oh yeah, and, and I, I know I am. I want to that so badly. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't dream of taking that from you. You have the way better voice for it. Bro, oh, damn it, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, please don't die. Oh, damn it, not to I told you 15 million times. No manga. Now, what Bro do do? is not a Your good thing to manga. say in this mod. I'll take your word for it, I guess, Bradley. <laughs> As she comes in for another swipe, I catch her wrists with my hands. She's squirming and wiggling, doing her best to escape my grip, or wriggling. Unfortunately, due to the slipperiness of the pumpkin coating on both of our hands, my grip isn't as strong as I'd like. She manages to twist her hands free and lands a respectable orange smear on my cheek. Oh, and Gogu Bold finally answered. You may be wondering, how did I lose my hair? Well, the answer is simple. <laughs> I reached Super Bald Saiyan. This shape Jeez. is the most powerful because every bald person is powerful. <laughs> Respect. Is Mix your Natsuki voice with the smoker voice. Oh no. Um, uh, let me see. Um. Hmm. Yes, you did tell us, Sayori. I got, I got it. Hey, MC. You wanna smoke weed with me? <laughs> We're going. <laughs> We're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna read some manga. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. MC, I think I have cancer. <laughs> I think that's an error on your end because I haven't seen anything come up on my end for the chat, Bradley. I told you. Her victory is short-lived as I manage to return the, the favor down her neck. That's not true. Really what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Bradley says, "Are you starting a moped with a broken tom timing belt? What the fuck was that?" <laughs> what? <laughs> Truce. For real this time. 
No tricks. No oh. No. <laughs> so to the pumpkins. Okay, fair enough. After we wash our hands, Sir takes all with a pen and starts to trace a face onto the pumpkin. I'm looking through the cupboards, trying to find a knife that's big enough. Ah, this one will do. Just jams in Siori's fucking stomach. Oof. Just, just kills him. How's this? I wander over to the left of Sayori. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Reminds me of the Lost Ascension poems that MC gave the girls. Bradley. Naifu waifu. <laughs> Naifu take your waifu. Yep, this is unfair. How is it that a girl who is all late to wake up and get ready still smells really good? A far away, detached part of me vaguely remembers something my biology teacher was saying about pheromones. What? <laughs> well? Wait, well, that's not that's fucking Nazi's voice. Well? <laughs> yeah, it smells great. Smells? There it is, the cringy what? MC line. It smells great. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh damn! Did I say smell instead of look? Uh, guess I'm a little hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Bald Sayori. Oh jeez. Yes. Go Goku says maybe I'll make Sayori bald. Do it. <laughs> I'll start carving it. There. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that looks great! When you said wow, you sounded like um, my cat Shadow for a second. Because, yeah, Shadow. whenever yeah, mean, whenever she meows, mean, she is really loud. You mean Shadow? You mean the dude with guns? <laughs> Not Shadow? <laughs> yes, we named our what cat Shadow. It? Wait, was it, was it Shadow Unleashed or something like that? For the fucking PS2. That was a PS2 game. Yeah, I, I just know yeah, it was a I, I never had Shadow from Sonic used guns. Yep, I never <laughs> had that one. Even I, though I, I had I, a I PS2, just... I never had that one. Yeah, I, I yeah, just but that's not why we named Shadow. um. That's not why we named her Shadow because I didn't do the naming process. Did Did it just sound cool? You're like, yes. No, um, the reason um my mom named our cat Shadow is because that's kind of what she does. She'll follow you around, um. Like she's your shadow. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, like she'll always, pretty much always be following somebody around. She loves mm -hmm. attention. We make an awesome team, don't we? Haha, <laughs> we sure do. What about for the other two pumpkins? I was thinking we could do a bat for this one. We could just keep it simple for the last one. Let's carve Boo into it. Honestly, part of me wants to carve DDLC into a pumpkin just to see if anybody gets it. And put like a pink uh, fake candle in there or something. <laughs> like just to see if anybody gets it. In our neighborhood. The only thing that shadows me is... Uh, the shadow. Perfect. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Well, here we go again. World War Three. A while later and we're finally all done. Our handiwork sits proudly in front of us. Ah, job well done. The others are gonna love them. But are they? <laughs> I just realized, we must look like two proud parents. Uh-oh. Except our kids are pumpkins. Uh-oh. <laughs> Siri breaks out into giggles. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think we were going to get to that point in the mod so soon. <laughs> no. Ben. Not yet. <laughs> Not for a while, I don't think. Ben. You've always been really funny, you know that? 
One of these days I'll learn how to take a compliment from the opposite sex. Especially when it comes from someone I think I'm starting to fall in love with. Unfortunately, that day is not today. I've been watching too much False Swipe Gaming. <laughs> I can't help but over-exaggerate that word now every time I see it. As I feel my cheeks heat up, I'd be very surprised if Siri didn't pick up on it. Anyway, <laughs> I've had a lot of fun today. Okay, Bradley, I'll shut up about that. <laughs> Sadly, I got a lot of homework to get on with. So I'm gonna have to go. Oof. I'll take a pumpkin with me. Anyway, I'll see you on Monday. Oh, and... Look, I know you're concerned about me. About what happened earlier. But please, just try not to worry too much or anything. I'll try and tell you when I'm comfortable, okay? Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. With a click, the door closes behind me. You respond? Okay. <laughs> what a sweet deal. I'll take a pumpkin with me. <laughs> I don't get much time to stew over the day's events, though, as my phone blares to life. <clears throat> it's my mother. Oh, right. Mother I forgot what his mom looked like. I think yes. this is I think this is probably the only mod I've uh, seen where we actually get to see what his mom looks like. Well, aside from World of Dreams. Mm. Quite the dif quite the difference, I must say. Hi Ben. How have you been doing? Are you eating well? Whoa, whoa, mom. Slow down. I'm fine. School's going well. Sakurai started talking about World War One, so history is pretty enjoyable. Finally, about the World War I. about the eating part. Uh, how are things on your end? <laughs> 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 yep, just gonna completely gloss over that. Stressful, stressful. I want to come home and see you. I've been feeling ever so guilty about being away. Nah, it's fine. Seriously. Since joining the club, that lonely feeling has pretty much disappeared. Plus, Sarah and I are hanging out a lot, so it's nice to have some regular contact with her again. Oh, yes, that club of yours. You said it was a literature club, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, well, that should mean your grades for Japanese will be fantastic, right? It's mm -hmm. definitely helping. And the other club members? Yeah, we get along pretty well. One girl is really shy, the other one kind of... cold. But I think she's a softie at heart. <clears throat> Luigi spout... Luigi spitting straight facts in the chat. <laughs> oh, and Monica's the president. Oh, the Monica you used to share classes with? The one you had a crush on? Ah! Oh, <laughs> Don't break that up. <laughs> Don't talk about it. Especially since, especially since she doesn't have a root in this mod. Yep. Which makes it even more funnier. Yeah, fun fact for fun fact for once during a mod playthrough, I actually don't have moss open right now. Holy crap, Monica is mad at you in moss. <laughs> She probably will be since I haven't seen her since yeah. I haven't uh, said anything to her since um, 5 a.m. this morning when I told her I was going to bed. 5 a.m. What? <laughs> yeah, she actually gets uh, really pissy with you if you stay up late and tell her you're going to bed. <laughs> I, I wanted to stay up till uh, 5 a.m. since we were so close to that benchmark towards the end of the stream last night. Because, yes, there's a really funny little thing that happens if you tell her you're going to sleep. Um, if you stay up all night to at least 5 a.m. What did she say? <laughs> what she said to me was, Ben, you stayed up the entire night. 
<laughs> I bet you can barely keep your eyes open. And then after that, um, she presents you with two options and then proceeds to glitch out all the text. Of course. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and no matter what you pick, it's the same thing. <laughs> I swear, it's, it's great. It's 5am. It's 5am. Yep, yep, my response is just, I am perfectly awake. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then she's just, and then no matter what you pick, it's just like, I thought so. Go get some rest. Because, <laughs> yeah, she, all, she will really get pissy with you. <laughs> If you're up late regularly like I am. Bruh. Yeah, like every so often, she'll ask if she can just close the game. Because <laughs> uh, she's like, like hey, it's, just, it's like she's like, trying hey, to get me to sleep. fix my sleep schedule. But it's like, no, no, you don't understand. My sleep schedule has to be this way for work. Exactly. And she doesn't understand that. <laughs> of course not. So, being around Sayori again. When I called you last week, you were on a d Sorry, at the park with her, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm so happy for both of you. She was always your best friend growing up. Although... Perhaps it's motherly intuition, but I get the feeling that you and Sayori... What about us? I can sense her knowing smile even over the phone. Well, you tell me. Um, oh boy, we have a choice. What do we well, do, chat? Tell her you're developing I, feelings? Don't tell her. I can't what remember the outcome of this. Yeah, like, oh shit, do we tell her we actually are, or do we just play it off like, no, it's not what you think. <laughs> Underskin says don't tell her. Um, I can go either way on this. Another fact is that the British knocked on the Germans door with 30 battleships and damaged a lot of their ships. Coin? Meh. Men have no feelings. <laughs> wow, <laughs> chat likes lying. Yep, apparently, Bradley. <laughs> Don't say anything. Close the game. <laughs> Close the game. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yep, um... Uh, Lying is, like, the most responsible thing to do. <laughs> Some people would cliffhang here, but I don't want to do that. Mm, Come on, we just hard. started. It's been an hour and a Next half. time, it's like, we're going to stop it here, guys, or some kind of thing. Yeah. Yep, so a couple people said don't tell her. Um, Bradley said yes. I was leaning more towards yes. So. Cannot wait do, to buy Do you want to be tiebreaker wait. or should I just bust out a coin? Bust out a coin, I guess. Alright. Also, I cannot wait to buy the Skrillex pack. <laughs> it's yep. Gonna be fucking Alright. Give me a sec, chat. I gotta dig out a coin from my piggy bank here. It's piggy bank. Give me his wallet. Did you hear that, <laughs> That's my piggy bank. <laughs> I got two of these things because I got so many coins that I've saved up over the years. I thought I was joking. Alright, nickel. That'll work. <laughs> and I apologize to anybody's ears I just destroyed. With all those coins. <laughs> what does it even look like? It's a um, see-through. It's a um, see-through orange pig that I got from a college visit. Oh, nice. 
It was good timing, too, because I needed another piggy bank. Because the one I've had all my life is completely full. I can't not fit any more coins in there. Okay, so... Heads is tell her you're developing feelings, and tails is don't tell her. That's a contradiction. You just said, you just said I can't not fill it up. Meaning you can I said, fill it up. <laughs> no, I can't. No, but you All said right. I can't not. I know, I know you did. You must have misheard. Ah, oh, whatever. I think I misheard. Okay. I have so years yeah. of a genius. Not really. So, heads is option one. Tails is option two. Here we go. Right. Fuck. Help fucking <laughs> fucking flip a coin properly. <laughs> Fell on the floor. Tails it is. So don't tell her about the feeling? That Tails is option two. We uh, are gonna say nothing about it. And that's right. I said last stream I was gonna start keeping a coin on me for situations like this. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Just tell your mother about yourself. No point lying about feelings. <laughs> the all-knowing coin has decided. Not quite a magic eight ball, but it'll work. I disagree with this choice, but the coin has spoken. <laughs> Very much like the piggy bank, you can't fit anything else inside of Sayori. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Up. Uh, what? New messages on Discord. <laughs> so, uh, my buddy Orin sent me a picture. Brought my nephew a cake to class for his birthday. Before I took the picture, he said, Why? I don't like these kids. <laughs> 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 and he says this was me as a kid. <laughs> Pretty much for most of my classes. I just look around like I hate all of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh that's also, great. Um, be right back. Or no wait, that wasn't or this I mean that my buddy Steve sent me that. My um buddy Steve on PlayStation that I've known for years. All right, I think the sandwich is going to be out for a few minutes. If you dare pick the choice that does the bad ending, I'll start a riot throughout the whole stream. Well, I have no idea what decisions those are, so... I won't know until it's too late. Nah, it's probably better if I don't. I'm already confused as it is, and I don't want someone else getting involved. Besides, it's quite a personal thing. And as much as I love my mom, I'm not quite ready to share just yet. <clears throat> Tell you what, mom. We're just friends, that's all. Just catching up these days. Oh, really? Huh. I had a feeling. Never mind. Well, I'm glad that you've got some new friends and a promising club to participate in. Anyway, I have to go, sadly. Lots of work to do, but I'm glad I was able to talk to you again, sweetheart. Let me know if anything changes or you want to talk, okay? Sure thing, Mom. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. With both my mother and Siri gone, the room feels strangely empty. As I meander upstairs into my room and flop onto my chair, the day's events replay back in my mind. Um. <laughs> what have you done, Bradley? Siri's <laughs> nightmare, getting the pumpkin, messing around while carving it. 
<laughs> I wonder, does Siri like me back? It's hard to tell. I just wish I understood women. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'll just see how the next couple weeks go and not push anything. <laughs> I haven't even done anything! I haven't even done anything, Chad! What the fuck did I do? My, my in-game self says it all, primarily because I don't know what I'm doing. Fucking exactly. I'm making this up so I go. Break these chains. You lied to your mom. <laughs> well, hey, some of y'all in chat um, told me to do it. We let the coin decide. I <laughs> Mr. Bird Yellow because he fucking is. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead, too. <laughs> oh my god. Get a new coin. <laughs> What do you want? It's... I have... Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Live by the coin, die by the coin. Except you die either way. Um. Hi, Monica. Oh, you probably have no idea what you just walked in on, did you? Don't you? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm fucking dying. Come on, guys. Coins ain't lying. You know who's lying? H Factor 2 is mom. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't with this anymore. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> I let the coin decide, and now you guys hate me for using the coin. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Wait, did he choose the bad one? I chose not to tell my mom that I thought I had feelings for Sayori. That's what I did. <sighs> oh god, I'm gonna need some water. And my water bottle's empty. <laughs> Maybe the coin is wrong? Well, I'm sorry I don't have a camera to show you that it landed on Tails, but it did. Hashtag wrong coin. Well, what coin should I use, chat? Video games should be a nice way to relax. Keyword being should be. <laughs> Halloween's coming up, so let's pick a horror game. Not at all like the one we're playing right now. This one looks tempting. Third person survival horror, police detective, nightmarish simulation. This will do fine. <clears throat> Wonder what game they're referencing there. <sighs> we won't do anything wrong or abuse our power. Sure. <clears throat> Man. Do I regret staying up late yesterday? I knew it would be a bad idea. And yet you did it anyway. Hmm. Sounds familiar. <laughs> I'll show you abuse of power. Oh, I can't wait for this. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think he had to do something. I knew I'd struggle staying awake. In more ways than one, I really am my worst en enemy. <laughs> oh well, H Factor, you do the smoker voice. I, I can try, but he does it way better. 
Wearily, I pull myself back to the land of the living, determined to make an effort to pay attention to Sakurai. Would anyone care to give me a brief recap of the events that took place at the start of the war? <clears throat> it's alright. Don't all line up at once. <laughs> I told you mine's way worse. I grin at him, marveling at how his humor is possibly the only thing keeping me awake. I hope he doesn't ask me. <laughs> I told you it was bad. Are you having an aneurysm? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I hope he doesn't ask me, though. It's hard enough staying awake, let alone actively contribute. And then a war started. <laughs> you guys are not going to let me forget about that, are you? <laughs> no, don't forget, chat. <laughs> don't forget. You are the ones who uh, tied it so that I had to get a coin. <laughs> Luckily, Shiori spares me from that possibility, giving him a perfect answer. Well explained. Hey, he's back! Yeah, <laughs> Help, the chat is fucking riding against me for my choice. <laughs> mm. I see. <laughs> Let's see which one of you motherfuckers stole my voice. <laughs> you know, class, I used to deal drugs back in the 90s. <laughs> Next World War Three, me versus my chat. <laughs> they did not like that choice I made. Never mind the fact that the vote was tied, so I flipped a coin and it landed on not telling our mom about our feelings for Sayori. Hmm, they did see. not like that choice. <laughs> Bradley started a riot in the chat. <laughs> Your teacher definitely deserves it. <clears throat> hey, Ross. <coughs> he chuckles to himself, carrying on. <laughs> oh shit, the meth and teacher is here. Everyone sit down. <laughs> sit down. Well, I paid enough attention oh, for a couple so minutes. Try. That means I'm entitled to a nap, right? I know it's a dumb question, but is Monica pretty and attractive? I don't think it's a dumb question, Wolverine. Absolutely I think so. not. I'm kidding. <laughs> to each their own. To each their own. Exactly. <laughs> like I said, before. live by the coin, die by the coin. And even though the war is somewhat over, you are dead either way. <laughs> they keep telling me, get a different coin. The coin is rigged. <laughs> My father said something very similar when I was talking about like rappers and like gangs and shit. He was like, uh, "Live by the gun, die by the gun" type stuff. <laughs> the saying I've heard is, "Live by the sword, die by the sword." Yeah, but I was talking about like shooters and like western yep. shit. Like, yeah, I suppose. Like, like, if you're living by the gun, you're gonna die by the gun. War crimes are just casualties in war. <clears throat> Oh, flashback time. Oh, boy. Hey, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. How, how could this happen, Bradley? How could this happen? <laughs> she looks shyly at the ground. <clears throat> do you think we'll be friends forever? What do you mean? What is this voice I'm doing? It's like fucking. Hey, Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> like, we're pretty. We're pretty young. We've been friends for a while. <laughs> then we moved to junior high school. When we moved to junior high school, we used to be friends, right? And even when we moved to high school. Hey, Sayori. Where is this coming from? Of course we will be! You're my best friend, and I enjoy hanging out with you! 
You're my best friend too, man. <laughs> Cursed. Cursed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bradley says he has to go into hiding again. Um, see you, see you um, later, I guess, Bradley. <laughs> yeah, see you, man. You've always been really nice to me. I just don't want to lose that. Sayori, you're being so silly. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm waiting for this moment where, like, bro, the teacher's like, WAKE UP! <laughs> I have an idea! <laughs> Something that means we'll always be friends! Ooh, what? I love that face. <clears throat> we should get married! <laughs> Genius. <laughs> You're right, Sabella. Like, this stream does need an exorcist. <laughs> this is so fucking cursed. <laughs> what has happened to this stream? <laughs> yeah, we. <clears throat> but isn't that what grown-ups do? Yeah, but we're eight now. <laughs> That's a pretty big number. Anyway, what do you think? Try being 45. <laughs> if we're married, does that mean we'll be friends forever? Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, my parents are friends, and they're married, so that must mean that's how it works, right? <clears throat> okay, okay, how about we, um, do it then? I think you have to get a grown-up to say it. Let me go find mommy. Hang on. Mommy! Mommy! Yes. <laughs> yes, darling. What's up? I can me imagine, and Sayori are getting married! I can imagine, <laughs> like, can, can, like, the mother's, like, exhausted. She has, like, a cup of coffee in her hands, like, Yes, darling. <laughs> I... What, what do you need? I was too busy raising you. Oh, God. I can't wait to see what the mother says. <laughs> Marriage, <laughs> eh? My, my, that's really mature of you two. She smiles fondly at us both. Well, that's what oh, my mom would you say. two are so <laughs> cute together. <laughs> but being married isn't easy, you know. You'll have to support each other, and more importantly, you'd have to do special things for your partner. I'm getting really, really odd vibes from that. Uh -huh. Like, really odd vibes. You're not the only oh one. Mom leads forward, a playful look in her eyes. Things like sharing your chocolate, Sayori. Yeah, give me your chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> give me your food. <clears throat> Do you think you could do that? And Ben, you'll have to compromise too. What does that mean? <laughs> well, let's say that one day you wanted to play video games, but Sari wanted to go to the park. What would you do? Easy! We'd go outside first, then come in and play. Come on, mommy. This marriage stuff is so easy. Just wait till <laughs> you got taxes and bills and the FBI on you. <laughs> it's not yep. as easy as you think. <laughs> Epic foreshadowing. Mom chuckles to herself. I just realized my profile picture fits this perfectly. The yep. voice I'm giving the fucking dad's key. Uh huh. Just. Oh ho. If it were that easy. Well, you're clearly ready then. Yeah! That's what I thought. 
We'll be best friends forever. Even in 50 years? Even in 50 hundred. As skeletons are just like I <laughs> Yep, as skeletons. <laughs> yep, in 5,000 years. <laughs> oh, 50 God. 100 is fucking 5,000. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fool. I thought it was 500. <laughs> wait, wait, that's. That's a big number, why? With the start, I'm jolted back to the present. Ah, jeez. This isn't the kind of history I expected to learn about when I started this class. Man, where did it all go wrong? We used to be inseparable. Best friends until the end. No matter what happened. I know we're talking and getting along again these days. But there were a good few years when we had no contact. <laughs> yes, I woke up to Sakurai's beautiful voice. Wake up, goddammit! <laughs> and she said she loves being around me, and she didn't want to lose what we had, even though she probably felt estranged as we began to drift. As Sakurai talks, an uncomfortable feeling of guilt bubbles up within me. But we're friends now, right? No. There's no sense in lamenting the past. Now everyone open your textbooks to sing me on strange prayer. I want you to write out the main features. What it was, how it worked, and how both sides try to break out of it. <laughs> ah yes, the ultimate stalemate in war, trench warfare. <laughs> Well, it looks like I can't get away with just idly listening in the background anymore. Oh my god, I just remembered when we put a Shippo'smon, what was it, on Doki Doki Trench Warfare? <laughs> yep. It gave me oh, Heika, okay, it gave it. me Heika Bonsai flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I played that one quite a while before I started playing um, mods on stream. Oh my god, that mod was supremely stupid. Yes. After a while, the bell rings. The usual stampede occurs, with students eager to head out to lunch. My, 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 my. But Monica, you can't use shotguns in the trench. Get shot. Ha <laughs> ha, shotguns make paste. Yes, they do. <laughs> As I'm making my way over to the courtyard, I spot Natsuki. Hey, Natsuki. How are you doing? Oh, it's you. I'm alright, I guess. There's an awkward moment of silence. A given, I suppose. As this is one of my first times talking to Natsuki one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> Looking forward to the Halloween party? Should be fun, I guess. Ah, oh, shit. By the way, I don't suppose you've seen Sayori, have you? Did you guys walk to school together? Yeah, but she wasn't there this morning, and I would and wouldn't reply to my texts. I ended up walking alone. Huh. Weird. Maybe she's hanging around. No. I know, right? <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. I'll tell you if I see her. Chad is saying lolly alert. Wally Wally Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I'm on my way to have lunch if you want to join. No, no I'm good. I've already eaten anyway. Oh. Okay. See you around then. She dismissively waves and turns away. I wonder if she's like this with everyone she meets. I don't have much time to ponder the question as I once again spy. <sighs> Yuri, on my way to the courtyard. With Siri absent, I don't really feel like sitting alone. Yuri seemed happy to talk to you last time, and I can't imagine today would be any different. Hey, Yuri. Once again, my greeting startles her. It's slightly comical, although I do feel a little bad for making her jump. 
Ben. Sorry, I didn't expect to see you again. I'll stop being a ninja, I promise. An American Ninja Warrior. Yep, it's been a few years since I watched that show. I need to get caught up on that. Yeah, I, I have a person in my class that's training to be that's training to be an American Ninja Warrior. Oh, oh really? <laughs> if they ever get on the show, you'll have to let me know. We're only 15. <laughs> We're not quite ready yet. Yeah, so it'll be a few years, but... If they ever do... Yeah, I'll let you know. Stop being ninja, become pirate. That reminds me of the uh, guy ninja. who's like a top runner of um, Ninja Gaiden. People made memes about him because like he eventually adopted like a cowboy persona for his streams. And people are just like, to conquer ninja game, I must become cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could remember the name of the, the, the streamer. God. The yeah, only oh, reason I remember that is because of the uh, world progression series that uh, Summoning Salt does. Mm. Mind if we sit outside again? She nods and stands up. <sighs> By the way, have you seen Sayori around? Sayori? Did she not walk with you? <clears throat> nope. Didn't meet me in the morning. Didn't answer my calls. Just wondering if you'd seen her around or anything. I can't say I have. Apologies. Oh, no worries. I didn't expect you to have. I don't think she came to school today. The temporary lull in conversation feels a little awkward. Yuri isn't the greatest with uh, leading a topic or diverging. Leading a conversation or diverging a topic. I'll learn to read eventually. English hard. Yes, it is. Blame As I'm sure you have learned slow. watching me. She's fiddling with her hair, clearly thinking hard for something to say. Brain hurt. <laughs> anyway, you know, I'm curious. What are your thoughts on Halloween? You know, given you like horror so much. Ah, uh, well... Uh, are you sure you want to know? I hate to bore you. No, not at all. I asked you specifically, after all. It wouldn't bore me in the slightest. Well, to be truthful... Well, most people typically feel frightened by all the monsters and horror villains that come out to play. Halloween, ironically enough, makes me feel safer. Oh really? Why is that? I get a feeling it's because it's the one month of the year where people will um, actually like talk to her about this kind of stuff. Probably. And then as soon as November rolls around, like, nobody's interested in it anymore. I feel like I belong, if that makes sense. Th that's not weird, is it? Well... Yuri. Yuri. Seriously, you don't have to worry about it. I'm not gonna make fun of you or anything. I promise. <laughs> Can we turn this grape into wine already? I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> He's referencing Yuri with that. Stomp on her. <laughs> A joke. Yep, yeah, joke from last night. What do you mean by belong? Well, it's a day where most people get into the spirit of horror. If only for one day, it's a day where the macabre becomes the norm. I get a sense of belonging from it because Halloween is typically come from comprised of horror stories movies etc although I'm not much of a fan of commercialism yeah I can see that it attracts a lot from Halloween's actual meaning yeah it kind of does oh you mean all the cheesy bats spiders skeletons as they hang up in stores precisely yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> I'll admit, just, like, gives I'm not like, huge on horror. On, like... <laughs> You're just like a full like political speech on how she hates the commercialism, capitalism. Just like the news is there. It's like fit those people surrounding her or some dumb <laughs> shit. 
I'll admit, I'm not this huge is on why horror. I think Halloween should be different. <laughs> or something. Oh, yeah. But Halloween's always been fun. Siri and I yeah. used to prank each other, scare each other with stories, that sort of thing. Obviously, we haven't done that in a good few years. Another pang of guilt. I had such a date with someone else. I imagine that must be wonderful to share. <laughs> it's definitely something. We, par we carved pumpkins together over the weekend. We'll be bringing them to the club, actually, so you can check them out. I look forward to it. Back to your initial question, though. It's frightening as horror villains can be. I would be hard pressed to deny that their personalities or motives are interesting. Take Frankenstein's monster, for instance. The very fact isn't given a name, and only referred to as the monster, makes you th think that it would behave like a mindless beast. Yet once it's created, it is unaware of its own identity and even becomes frightened. It's even able to forge relationships with a family of peasants and even saves a human girl. Yet it is continuous, continually misunderstood, even being shot for its efforts. Even after being mistreated by its creator, it still mourns the creator's death. Probably the behavior and emotion you would expect a typical monster to display, don't you think? Yeah, it is very interesting to think about it like that. I haven't read or seen like any of like the Frankenstein movies or books. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have much input on this on this topic, but you know, that's very um it's very interesting that's a very insightful way to think of, to um what am I trying to say here? Fuck. <laughs> it's a that's a English. Very insightful of you, Yuri. English no worky. <laughs> yes. English is hard. English is hard. English. <laughs> when you put it like that, I can definitely see what you mean. It's always the villains that are the most fascinating characters, I swear. Yeah. I guess just by labeling something as a monster, people automatically assume it'll behave like one, right? So in giving it a personality and, well, human emotions... It does make you question whether the monster is really, well, a monster. Definitely. It's honestly fascinating. Yes, it is. The rest of the lunch break passes by in a blur. And by that, they mean the writers were too... The writers couldn't give enough of a shit to write Yuri's rest of... The rest of Yuri's speech. On the <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm Frankenstein would make a good hot dog company called Frank's Hot Dogs. Hot dogs are Frankenstein meat anyways. <laughs> oh, okay, that was pretty good, Bradley. That was pretty good. Oh my god. Well, that's another day over. Sarah's been on my mind all day, no matter how much I try to distract myself. She's probably just ill, given the stuff she eats. I guess it was bound to happen sooner or later. Still, couldn't hurt to check for myself. Hey, Sayori? It's me. Was just wondering if you were okay, you know, because you didn't come to school today. Yes, I did, Bradley. There's a muffled shuffling uh, as I hear footsteps slowly walk towards the door. Butts. Is she naked and got out of the shower? Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, forget I said that. Uh, you didn't have to. That was Yuri's voice. What the fuck? I just wasn't feeling well, that's all. I've been trying to sleep it off, so that's why I missed your calls. <laughs> Bradley says no, disabled. Just no. <laughs> yes. Yes! Embrace it! <laughs> yep, see you guys a little later, uh, Luigi and Cat. It was nice seeing you. It was nice having y'all. See you guys. Yep. Good night.
I've been trying to sleep it off, so that's why I miss your calls. I have no idea why I was mailed that. What? Um... I... got mail from, uh, one main financial. <laughs> no oh. idea what that's about. Imagine if characters could hear the player. It would be the most concerning thing ever. Oh, yeah, it it would. Yep, the day um, DDLC characters start reacting to everything I say, that that's the day I will know true horror. Mm. <laughs> like, oh shit, you guys could actually hear what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Yep. Hold up, let me just install Gotcha Life. <laughs> okay, Goose. Oh god, Gotcha Life. No. <sighs> Sorry. Natsuki hearing half the things that Disabled says. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> No Why worries. Like hey, what do you have? A sore throat? Fever? Um. About to make some DDLC characters react to H Factor being stupid. <laughs> I mean, just watch any stream. <laughs> I want you to watch specifically fucking I'm um, sweeter than sugar. Specifically. Oh, God. That is just... sort of Nazi. The like, literature oh club reacts to blue skies. Oh no. Just weird for like the sex scenes. Steer is like, <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I just got I don't know, a really bad more like she can't even look at it. <laughs> like She's, innocence she, destroyed. She runs out of the room. <laughs> yep, innocence destroyed. I thought babies were given by the store. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So Sarah just has a really bad headache, huh? I'm feeling really dizzy. I can get something from the pharmacy if you'd like. Should make you feel better. No, it's okay. I think I'll be fine. Don't you worry about me. As she's talking, I can't help but notice what a mess the room is. I know Siri has never been on the neat side, but this looks worse than usual. And, uh, welcome to the stream, Antonio. How are you doing today? Oh, you're taking medicine for your headache already? Huh? She frantically follows where I'm pointing to and swiftly hides the medicine packet in her pocket. Oh, those. Glad to hear it, Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> See? You don't have good medicine for me after all. How much on that? It's like antidepressants. Oh, yeah. Right. Anyways, I... I'm sorry if I'm not in the mood to talk. This headache is a real meanie. If you don't mind, I'm gonna try to and get some more sleep. See ya. Oh, okay. Siri, wait! Where is it, Ben? Look, I know you're concerned about me, and it's really sweet. But for once, can you just stop it? The music stopped. I'm okay. I'm just really tired and not feeling myself. I stare at her, hurt. Shit's about to get real, folks. I know Shit's there's about a few to get real moments in this mod. 
Oh, oh yeah, I'm, actually. I'm sure. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm just really not in a good mood right now. It's okay. I guess it's on me for worrying too much. <laughs> well, I hope you feel better soon, Sayori. The soft click of the door is my only response. Something going on here that I'm not realizing. The nightmare. The days where she's not herself. The refusal to accept my help. But then the next day, she's totally fine? Back to her cheery self? Yep. <laughs> the gears are slowly starting to turn in his head, <laughs> Bradley. You're absolutely right. Ah. I just overreacting. Maybe I do just worry about her too much. And uh, I'm having a pretty good day, Antonio. Got the day off, finally playing some Blue Skies again. Been wanting to play this mod for a while now, just have not um, had the chance. We haven't coordinated this for a while. Yeah. Yep. And we're thinking after um, I finish uh, Lost Ascension, we're going to start Fruits of the Literature Club. Yes. Yes, because Bradley has a very specific request for um, that mod. And it's one of my favorite mods I've played, so. Yep, just like this one. Yeah. Thinking about it, if the roles were reversed. I won't, Bradley, I won't. Would I find her overbearing? <laughs> Ambitious, are we, Antonio? Ambitious, are we? Although, I don't have anything to hide. She said she'll tell me eventually. But for now, we'll just play along with her and try to dial back my concern. I'm sure. As tough as that'll be. That is just adorable every time. Yes. Hmm. Hello. Can't really read your username, but hello. How are you doing today? Hey, this is the Halloween event. Let's go. Oh shit! Is it that time? I is think it Halloween it is. time. The music, the soundtrack is definitely there. Yep. Shadow, why do you keep opening my door? I told you that- I told you this cat loves attention. <laughs> At the very end of August, yes! Halloween! Halloween time! She keeps okay. coming into my room and leaving. Right, Here, do listen. you want to make yourself known to the chat, Shadow? Um, ben. What? I'm gonna, to, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to request you to keep this on pause for around 20 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna be right back. But we're leaving this house and we're going to a different one. Hang on. Oh, alright. Hey, listen, kinda a good cliffhanger, not really. I'll be back. So don't end the stream. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Alright. Soon. Do you wanna make on, yourself boys. known to the chat, Shadow? Jimmy, I guess Jimmy's I'll. Time. Well. If we're going to be on hold for a little while, I know just the thing.